Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So GATE 2022 was over. Uh, it's been one month since GATE 2022 is over and uh, the official answer key was uh, released and all the process was done and uh, we are waiting for the results. Okay, right. Now coming to uh, GATE 2023. Okay, now I want to address, address few points uh, of GATE 2023. I could say that lessons which we learned from gate 2022 so what are the lessons which we learned from gate 2022 and based on that lessons uh, how gate 2023 is going to be and uh, what are all the things we need to what are the uh, changes other than basic basic strategies we know all the basic strategies other than basic strategies what are all the few things which we need to uh, change okay when it comes to uh, gate 2023 and gate 2024 how the trend is changing in gate uh, gate papers okay so when it comes to gate 2022 i have noticed few changes in that i'm going to highlight two important changes okay first important first change was very important though that is uh, msq questions See, we would have noticed it uh, when they are when the transition was happening from gate 2020 to gate 2021. So in gate 2021 is the first time when the uh, IIT that is gate uh, uh, conducting board has introduced MSQ questions. Okay, everyone, I hope that you you are aware of what is meant by MSQ questions, right? Multiple select questions, which means uh, a single question ha can have one or more than one correct answer it can be it can be two correct answers or three correct answers or even one or more than one that is it can be four also okay so more than one one or more than one correct answer for a single question that is msq question so the uh, gate board there is gate uh, connecting board has introduced msq questions uh, in, in gate 2021 but the point is in gate 2021 the number of msq questions was very very less okay number of msq question was very less like one or two question we could find in a paper okay in a paper okay that also few few uh, in few papers there is few other departments i'm not talking about me and xc few other departments there are a, a few papers where msq is not at all there okay but as the transition was happening okay first time they have not given that much question very minute and then when the transition has happened the number of msq questions in the paper uh, in a single paper has drastically increased see there are advantages and disadvantages when it comes to msq questions the advantage is a person who has prepared properly who is having conceptual clarity can only answer all the correct answer in msq the problem with msq as i was said if suppose option a b c d if they given that option b and option c is correct okay that is uh, answer key which is set by gate they are saying b and c is correct but or b c d okay, b c d is correct but what you did in your exam you answered you 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 marked only b and c okay b and c is also correct b and c is also correct but you should have marked d otherwise you will get zero marks okay so if you want to get the mark corresponding to the question you need to answer all the correct options you need to mark all the correct options partial marking is not there it is a disadvantage of course if you are not a disadvantage you would see that it is a, a negative thing about msq but if you have a closer look at it this msq question filters the toppers from a student who has not prepared properly of students who followed just a formula approach or just a, he just Mug, mugged up the concept just with the help of mugging up of the concepts and formulas applied in the problems so this msq questions will separate them very easily very easily it will separate them and it is uh, what is that appreciable uh, change which uh, gate committing board has made it's a really appreciable change and surely this is going to separate the students who who prepared properly with the good concepts with good number of questions which they solved good quality questions which they solved so it's completely going to differentiate them right the one who have not prepared properly the one who have prepared properly initially it, it used to be not like this with only with the help of mcq and nad we will able to differentiate it but still a student who not practiced 
variety of questions okay different variety of questions if a student who is still not completely clear in their concepts will still able to get 60 marks or 65 marks easily okay but with this change it's going to be difficult even to get 60 65 okay i'm i'm saying it very openly okay even for me paper or xc paper okay with a uh, not a good not good uh, clarity in your subject with not proper questions to be practiced it will be difficult for you to uh, what is that answer M uh, msq questions that easily you will able to answer it but you might miss one or two option which will which will give you only zero marks i hope you understood the plus points the negative points both are there with msq now coming to solutions or what we should do the first and foremost solution when it comes to msq is you need your concepts to be very clear because if there was some hole in your concept if there was some hole in your concept if, if it is not clear there was some hole then automatically if suppose they are asking some theory questions or something you will able to answer few options but if there was a hole in your concept you won't able to have that complete clarity you, you, you won't have that hundred percentage completeness if 100 percentage completeness is not there for example there is a con i'm just giving you some random examples let us consider there is one topic you studied that topic but not 100 percentage a complete knowledge about that particular concept is not there with you you have only some 70 percentage or 80 percentage the questions they are asking if that question suppose msq question a option a b c d okay you are able to solve that question and you are able to get uh, option a and b but the problem is the options a and b can be extracted only with the 70 percentage of the knowledge which you have but if you want to get all the correct answers a b c suppose a b c or the three correct answers then if you want to get all the correct answers you need to have the complete knowledge the balance 30 percentage lag in your knowledge in your concepts will affect okay will affect in answering all the questions all the options correctly okay so that is the first uh, corrections which you need to make now the second corrections when it comes to msq uh, is something like what i could say something like practicing msq questions properly and luckily as this is something like uh, our team okay the team who makes our test series we know that there is a possibility for uh, more number of msq question this year okay that is in gate 2022 so in our gate 2022 test series we have included number of msq questions not one or two number of msq questions which will make students to be aware of what is an msq question and how to approach it that is my second point you need to practice good number of questions to make sure that how the questions are there is good number of msq questions to make sure that um, how the questions are asked how uh, you know what variety they are going to ask uh, ask from msq okay so that is the two points so very again these two points are also basics but what i wanted to say is you need to orient your preparation according to msq questions that's it the concepts also you need a complete clarity and second one problems also you need to practice questions which is uh, which will give you a feel which will give you an idea about msq okay these are the two points related to uh, the first observation msq right so for 2023 also we can expect number of uh, msq questions so be ready for it okay right second mathematics okay the level of mathematics question has increased significantly compared to the previous years this year mathematics question level has increased significantly as per content as concern concept as concern they are not asking anything out of the syllabus everything was there in the syllabus but they are asking questions which are trickier which are good i will say okay overall which are good which is trickier so again a solution for this again problem is you need to practice questions which are a bit more trickier than that of what you would have done for the past years okay if you are planning for gate 2023 because mathematics carries a very good weightage 13 marks so if you are planning for uh, if you are planning to get at least 10 marks out of the 13 or for other papers for xc paper it is uh, 15 whatever okay 13 to 15 or whatever if you plan to get that 13 14 15 out of that if you want uh, 10 to 13 marks or something you need to practice questions which are at a bit higher level than that of whatever you did it for the past years okay that is my second observation and again 
luckily we have implemented very good questions uh, good max questions in our xc test series in our me test series the max questions was like uh, average to uh, what is that moderate to difficult level uh, not many difficult questions but of course these are our learnings so from gate 2022 we have learnt this and we will be implementing it in our uh, test series and even in our course okay even in our uh, what is that video course and live lectures uh, we have planned to implement a variety of questions in videos itself and also in the test series okay so that is what i, I want you guys to learn the two things or i will say that uh, i want you guys to be aware of these two things regarding msq questions and mathematics uh, if you want to get a good score in mathematics you need to practice a bit higher level questions the first point if you want to um, make sure that you are you are you are the person who is uh, I, I given you the differentiation right uh, toppers and the guys who have prepared but not up to the level okay the difference was with this msq question make sure that uh, uh, you uh, what is that uh, you make sure that you are aware of that msq question properly and to read the question properly okay read the question one or two times this is one more tip which i wanted to share just reading one time is not enough read all the four options one or two times read the question one or two times when it comes to msq you should never do mistakes in msq because if you just leave one option you are not going to get anything even though your your answer was correct but if you leave one if you leave one you are going to get zero okay so uh, when it comes to msq read the question one or two times read the options one or two times so that finally uh, make uh, finalize it whether what is that uh um, what is that whether whatever the option which you selected is only the correct option or was there any other correct option which is present in the question okay and one more thing one more thing about msq is it is time consuming it is time consuming because you need to read the question one or two times to make sure that what are all the correct options whether i left any correct options or not if you want to check it obviously you need to spend some time on it so it is time consuming without proper practice you won't able to reduce that time in your exam so these are my points uh, related to msq and engineering mathematics i hope that uh, this video will be very helpful for all the uh, gate aspirants out there okay thank you